Why did Massachusetts happen last night? Because people are tired of the games. What games? I want to introduce you to two people. There is uh, this person and this person. They both seem like nice people. It's a story of a window company. Oh, and, and your stimulus dollars. Apparently, they've been spending your dollars building up a window company that this man works for. Apparently, if you listen to all the officials, these are the most amazing, efficient windows ever, ever made. But I want you to remember this story. Remember this lady and this guy works at the window company. Oh, and remember your stimulus dollars. Now I'm going to have John Stossel tell the story. We start with the CEO of this man's company. The company, the window company, Serious Materials. Watch. Thank you, Mr. Vice President, uh, for your unwavering support. That's Why Vice President Biden is thanking. Jobs. Without you and the Recovery Act, this would not have been possible. Biden returned the compliments. You're not just churning out windows. You're making some of the most energy efficient windows in the world. I would argue the most energy efficient windows in the world. Other window makers say, no, our windows are just as energy efficient. But the vice president hasn't visited their companies or even mentioned their names. And why am I talking about the vice president? I'm here today representing Serious Materials. The How many company officials get to make introductions like this? It is my distinct honor to introduce the President of the United States, President Barack Obama. The President gave a speech on energy policy that cited, guess which company? Serious Materials just reopened, as he mentioned, a manufacturing plant outside of Pittsburgh. And these workers will now have a new mission, producing some of the most energy efficient windows in the world. Wow. What a dream endorsement. And just last week, the president announced a new set of tax credits for so-called green companies. The only window company on the list? Serious materials. This is a story of how a new economy predicated on innovation and efficiency is not only helping us today, but in inspiring a better tomorrow. Actually, I think it's a story about crony capitalism. It's almost as if the government and serious materials are partners. The company VP of Policy testified in Congress. Thank you for the opportunity to appear here today and share Serious Materials experience in creating green jobs. And here he is in this picture with so-called energy leaders at the U.S. Department of Energy. And who's the woman in the middle? Kathy Zoy, who oversees the government's weatherization program. She has big plans for your tax money, as she explained at a conference. Where literally SWAT teams go into neighborhoods and they retrofit every single house and every single business on Main Street. Oh, and I left out a little fact. Kathy Zoy is the wife of the vice president of policy of Sirius Windows. John, I heard, I heard you do this story on the Fox Business Network. My head about explode. <laughs> My head. America, they're married. That's incredible. How does this happen? That's the cronyism that big government creates. You know, also his company executives gave big bucks to the Obama campaign. Okay, but this is the woman who's saying we've got to weatherize every house. We got to go in with SWAT teams and right. weatherize all the houses. And by the way, my husband's company would be perfect to outfit all of these people with. But she's disclosed it on her form, so presumably it's legal. Uh, okay, I'm an alcoholic. When I go, when I go to um, uh, some place, a cocktail party or something, I always ask for a water bottle. I never stand with a glass of ice. Why? It, because just the, just the look of me having something in my hand makes people talk. You don't do it just on the look. Is anybody, have you gotten a call from, how about, how about this guy's company? Have they called? They called, they called right when we were about to air the story on yeah. my show and they said, your story is full of lies. Well, what are the lies? We'll get back to you. They have never gotten back to us on what okay. the lies are. Have you talked to, have you talked to Kathy Zoe? Have you talked to anybody in the government? No, what they, they don't, they don't want to talk about it. They say, look, it's in our disclosure agreement. It's all above board. Gosh, I wish, I wish I could dial uh, the White House. They can only dial us and they never do. I wonder, here, White House, um, their husband and wife, she's in charge of all the spending for the weather stripping and all important stuff like that. Is this, is this story, do we have it wrong? Does John, help us clear this up. Is, 
Are they, let me ask you this. Are these the most amazing windows ever made? Well, they claim there are, but we got a call from a competitor of theirs. We're a half hour away. Our windows are even better. We've won this award and that award. We can't get any attention from the administration. Much, Not that they should. How much money? No. Stop having the government pick and choose winners. Exactly. If this company makes the best windows, people will figure that out. But also, their best window costs 2000 bucks. You don't need that expensive a window well, for you weatherization. You do if you're having SWAT teams put them in. <laughs> <laughs> but most of the weatherization money goes for much All right, so John, windows. what needs to happen for this kind of stuff to end? What needs to happen is we need to go back to this. This is what built America, the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. Together, it's this thin. We don't need zillion dollar weatherization programs. When electricity rates and oil go up, people will buy better windows on their own. They don't need Kathy Zoy having billions of dollars at her disposal that she can decide maybe it should go to this company or that company. You shouldn't be allowed. Is she a part of the, she's the head of the weather thing, right? right. The weather stripping. Right. Was she part of this decision? We don't know. And the company says, hey, she wasn't even confirmed until after Obama spoke at our, uh, about our company like and Biden days? came to the company. But she'd been nominated at that time, and she was already part of the club. She just hadn't, be, hadn't been confirmed. All right. John, great show on the Fox Business Network. Thank you. Uh,